After buying a shared hosting on Hostinger for my website, I went to see the performance of the website on, on services like GT Metrics and PageSpeed and things like that. And actually, I wanted to see how how my just like how my website is presented on the internet and how fast it is. I was shocked that my website is so much slower than the normal, and mostly the reason was actually not using a CDN. Now you might be asking if you are not a developer, what is the meaning of a CDN? Actually, the CDN is a content delivery network. Content delivery network means to provide fast delivery to the content of your website on the internet. So it means that some servers on the internet around the whole world actually serving your website and making it move fast and delivering the content so fast by actually saving some cash about the images and all the files and scripts that you have just like saving it on the on servers on the internet so when the user tries to request it by HTTPS requests or something like that it actually appears so fast and without the need to download all over again and with the same optimizations that you have without a CDN However, we are not going to go deeper in that. I needed a CDN because this was the reason my website slowing down. Actually, I was, I've already purchased the premium plan. So why my server is not fast? By the way, to make proof that it was a problem in the server, not in the website script, I tested the same files on GH pages, which is GitHub pages. It's something for developers. If you are a developer, you already know GitHub pages. And if you are not a developer, then I guess it's just like a service for developers to upload the content or their websites online just to test it or because they don't need to pay for it because it's not for a client or something. It's just for practice or just like participating for the open source community or something like that. So in GitHub pages, and it's not a paid service, it's only just like free, I found out that it was very, very fast and it's faster than my paid premium plan on hosting. However, here the magic happens. In this video, I'll tell you how to add the services of Cloudflare to your website on any host for free and that you don't need to pay for a CDN services. Let's see how to do that together. So this is actually my hosting H panel and from which we can control the website you have hosted. Whatever hosting or any other one, actually either they actually provide you with a free CDN service or actually a paid one. Here you will have to see that if I want it to have a CDN, I have to subscribe in Cloudflare. And to do that, I have to pay nine, I mean, $10. And there is no other way to apply the controls of the CDN to make my performance actually dramatically improve. But in this video, I'm gonna show you here that you can do that and without actually uh, buying this. So you will go to the Cloudflare uh, website and of course, you will go through the typical sign-in process. And after that, they will actually ask you to add a site, add a website. So I'm going to put this site here. So here we have actually a website that we're going to test. This is not my website, actually. But this is a site we will just try to make a presentation about. Here I will say add site. Well, as you see, there are actually these plans, but look with me at the this one, the pro one, it's $20. Only the addition that is different from the, the free one is actually just like image optimization. And of course, you can get that from a lot of other sources. And if you are in a, in a hosting like WordPress or something, you don't need to optimize your images because they will, they will actually do that for you. But the thing that you need is protection and a fast name server. A fast just like a fast content delivery network and this is what they are actually applying for free all you have to do is to get the free one and 
continue and let's see how the magic starts so it's just like three steps and they are scanning your website or everything now your website is proxied as you see here it is they are proxying everything they are connecting everything but is that all no actually you will go here continue this step is critical actually and you might ask me what do you mean by this step uh, you will go to the who is and you will know who is the host for this uh, service for your website so you have to determine who is your registrar let's see here for example for example this website because we didn't need a certain website this is a website to define some information about any domain so look here this is the registrar hosting yes and of course that that is where my website lives um, here I will log in the administrator account which by that he means your panel and you will remove these name servers actually to get that I think where they were so to get your name servers and change them all he's asking you here is to remove the name servers this one and put these ones from uh, Cloudflare and by this way you will just like you will be done so all you will do now you will go to hostinger and actually you will go to domains and you will click on your domain you will find here the DNS or the name servers here are they change name servers and you will cancel these ones you might want to keep them if you are afraid or something keep them in a notepad or any just like in any note system or note application and go to the ones that you are given by Cloudflare and put them in instead of these ones and after that you will say save you have done that done check name servers now you will go through this little process everything is just like you don't need to do anything but pay attention to this if the automatic HTTPS is closed you will make it green here and you will open it this means that you will have the HTTPS protection and everything and this is very important actually for your website always use HTTPS no do not do that because sometimes you will need some servers or some services that are coming from an HTTP server and you don't have to or an HTTP request I'm sorry and you don't have to just like make it always so I'm, I'm not gonna go deeper in this because this is not my specialization but this is what I have read about and this is the advice I have gathered through the internet now let's see optimize uh, performance here you will have amazing tools you will just auto minify the javascript css html these are the files that compose your website and if you minify them this means faster installation and faster load for the painting image of your website this means that your website will just like download faster without any explanation this is what will happen because these things will be minified and will be actually here cached and now in the summary automatic HTB is on uh, always use it no auto minify yes you will auto minify everything and the Protoly is on let's see what is the Protoly if you want to get more idea about it so yes it speed up page load times for your visitors HTTPS traffic by applying Protoly compression well this is a tool for compressing the files so you need that of course so you have finished that and now finish by this way I guess so you have you have finished everything after you change it, the name servers and everything he will give you a warning that this might take about 12 hours to be completed or something um, and after that you will be able to actually so if we set save here and save here 
save the auto modify i guess i didn't save them or something save yes yeah now we finish so i guess here he understand that i didn't put the name servers but once you put them you will find here that you are everything is okay and that you are all done and let me show you that on my other account in which everything is fine for my website so as you see my friend here is my website and it's active i did that i did that for free and i i used the name servers of the the cloud flare and as you see these are even analysis for my website all of that is for free i didn't pay anything and as you see a huge data was served here 482 and i'm talking about three to four days or something and 12,000 requests can you believe that if your website guns through that without a cloud flare or a cdn things will actually crumble down and and everything will be so lazy and you will lose a lot of performance for your website so thanks for watching and i hope i benefited you for with anything thank you a lot